Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some winter sowing reveals. I have some green cool crops that are ready to be opened up and uh, ready to be transplanted actually into the garden beds. So I'm going to take you out to the garden and I'm going to show you what those winter sown reveals look like today. That's right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so these are the containers that we're going to open up today. As you can see, we have just under a dozen in this group here that are ready to be opened and get some fresh air and be acclimated to the, the wind, which they don't have because they're in an enclosed environment. And so I'm going to open them up. I'm going to let them air out and kind of get used to the, the environment around them. And then this evening is when I plan on transplanting them into uh, my raised garden beds, which is where I grow most of my cool crops. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I'm going to open these and what they look like. Okay, so this is Mizuna uh, mustard. I planted it the 23rd of March. This is now the 1st of May. So I'm simply going to take the tape off and it's a warm sunny day so the sun has warmed the adhesive on the duct tape and it comes right off sometimes it does not come off so nicely we're just going to take that off and so here is the Matsuna mustard and it does have a little bit of frost damage to it um, but most of it's fine nice and healthy and uh, after I let this acclimate to the temperatures out here, I'm going to go through and transplant the really healthy stuff. And the stuff that's a little more damaged, I'm just going to feed it to my chickens and uh, they'll love it. So that's the Mizuna. Let's see, we have a salad bowl lettuce variety mix in this jug. There we go. It's a beautiful lettuce in here. This is that new green that I bought from Baker's Creek, Chimjitsumai or something like that, I think. <laughs> um, but uh, it's a wonderful green. It's supposed to be a cross between like a mustard and a spinach or something like that. I can't remember. But it's brand new uh, for this year. Um, so I went ahead and bought it. Let's see what it looks like. So it definitely looks like a mustard, like the, my Tatsoi mustard, it's really pretty, really ready to go. It was kind of getting outgrown there, so there's that. Safflower, I got two jugs of these going because I want a lot of safflowers this year in my garden. Um, the bees love them, and you can also use the uh, flowers, the little flower stem, um, not stems, petals, and they're not really petals. And this one's going to be a broken jug this year, and that's fine. Um, it's three years old anyway. <laughs> but um, you can use the flowers as poor man's saffron. Um, they're really pretty flowers. So we're just going to go ahead and take that broken part off. So there's one of my safflowers there. Let's see. Butter King lettuce, another lettuce I got going on. So there's the Butter King. This is some kale. Some beautiful kale. The other safflower I got.
And as you can see, I'm not being overly gentle with these jugs. These seedlings can take quite a bit. So there's the other safflower. Alright, Tatsoi. start getting these out of their jugs. Almost a little too long for some of these greens which like a cooler weather. There's the tot soy. I got some chard going. I was having some trouble with the chard this year. But we got a fair amount. So you win some you lose some. So there's some chard, Swiss chard. And then these are really cool. These are onions. All right. So these ones are Spanish onions. I have some more onions here. And these are global onions. And then last but not least, we got some fenugreek. There we go. Some fenugreek. So these are all air out today. It's a beautiful day. And then I will transplant these later on this evening. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this winter sowing reveal of our cold crops. I still have plenty of more crops that are just now getting going. And I still have more I actually have to plant. If you found this video useful or encouraging, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you can keep updated on all the gardening, including winter sowing, and all the other stuff I do here on the homestead. I'd love to have you along for the journey. And last but not least, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.